Thank you, Dylan. Early this morning, those showers are moving through most of the area now as we continue to see soggy and gloomy conditions really for most of our Thursday. So grab those umbrellas. You'll likely need them at some point today. As of right now, you can see some of those showers moving back through downtown Rockford. We have wet roadways that's expected as well throughout most of the day, even though those showers will be rather off and on. Here's what's bringing us all that activity. We have this rather line and train of low pressure systems bringing us a lot of active showers and even taking a closer look at home, you could see some spots that were dry just moments ago already seeing that rain building back in. That includes parts of Rockford. You're seeing the rain moving in through parts of Ogle and now Lee County. Some light rain moving in through Dixon and we've seen moderate rain continuously moving through places like Freeport. So those areas further to the northwest will expect heavier totals even as the heavier rain showers set up within this area. That's what you'll see on future track, but taking you through the rest of our morning. We'll end up seeing those areas of heavy rain at times this closer to 830. So a lot of us kicking off our commute in the morning. Expect those rain showers. Here's what 11 looks like closer to lunchtime. Notice that heavy rain sets up just to the northwest. So that's mainly going to be through places like Joe Davis, Carroll, Stevenson County, even getting closer to Winnebago County and southern Wisconsin. That continues to move through. We then transition to some light to moderate rain and more heavy rain potentially returning. But the further we get throughout Thursday, the more that rain wants to taper off. It actually becomes a little bit more scattered to isolated, especially into tonight. Temperatures stay within those 60s, a few degrees above average, but we really don't see a big change from what you're going to feel heading out the door to what you'll feel by the afternoon. We do climb into those mid to upper 60s with a light breeze and only dropping a few degrees into tonight, still staying mild. Spotty showers are expected, not as widespread as we'll see them throughout the day today, and we'll even expect the same into your Friday. Spotty rain takes us early into Friday morning. Here's about 5 o'clock, rather isolated, just dodged the radar here. You'll notice the same for the morning commute on Friday and then the showers slowly start to taper off rather completely. The cloud cover also moves out as sunshine returns and then cooler air sweeps in. Friday night drops into the 30s. Saturday remains in the 50s as that cooler air really starts to move in and we have even colder conditions seeping down into the area for most of next week, leading to a very cold and spooky Halloween. Temperatures stay within the upper 30s by Tuesday, and we overall are cooler for most of next week. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, we do though trade in rain showers for plenty of sunshine, and we even climb back into the 50s through the extended forecast. Manny.